Does that mean you should answer? Nonsense. Don't you guys know that this is camera? You can't answer to me. But I'm doing fine. I'm doing extremely amazing. God is good. Today I had... I, I can't even... I can't even tell you all my day. Ha! Today. Let me get closer. So this morning, actually it was this afternoon that my brothers brought the uh, fish to the house. They said, oh Esther, we want you to fry the fish and uh, make some soup. I said, okay, I'll make soup, no problem. As I was making the soup, one of my brothers, uh, girlfriend, she, she's going to I'm make, I'm frying the fish. Then you see this girl holding her nose. I said, "Where you? Oh, me? I don't, I don't, I don't smell fish. I don't eat." I said, "You don't wait in. Don't you know that uh, the energy my brother be putting on you, be energy of fish? Oh, so you like to spread your legs, but you don't like to smell food. Oh yeah." It's not your fault. It is not your fault. <laughs> anyway, that girl pissed me off. Then she'll come to me later after the food is cooked, as my brother is feeding her. Oh, this food, this food is so good. I say, look at this Kwasia girl. Now, now. The food is good. Before it was smelling like uh, what I flush in the toilet. Nonsense. I was pissed though. But I can't blame her. You know what is happening with this generation these days? You date interracial without knowing exactly what the other person likes or the person that you are dating don't like. I have a little advice. As you're going to get out, I mean, I say to get out, to go out with uh, anyone that is not from your race, whether white, obviously Caucasian, or Spanish, or Asian, or African, or uh, Middle Eastern, any type of race that you are dating, that's not your race. Before you date them, just don't say, oh, we met in America, so she might like Burger King like me. No. Or uh, she, she's Asian, so that uh, I'll take her to a Chinese place. It does not work like that. Before you date the person, even now in Africa, you are from South Africa, then you are dating someone that is Nigerian, and you're expecting him to know the whole story of Nelson Mandela. Are you serious? Ladies and gentlemen, Please, I'm begging you guys in the name of Jesus, the one and only mighty God that I serve. Do not date people without knowing exactly what they are, what they like, and what they don't like. Have I made myself clear? It pissed me off today. But, um, after all said and done, God is good. I don't hate her, but I feel like she should know more about our culture, our food, and everything that comes with it. She cannot just be uh, smashing my brother without knowing how my brother get energy to come and invest in her. Ah, what kind of hell is this? Anyway. Interracial relationships, they are pretty cool, but it's not only about having pretty babies or pretty last names or whatever. It's the same thing with Christian and Muslim, but that's another topic we'll talk about another day. Today, I ate rice and shaitan and some fish. I know a lot of people are like, ah, Esther, so does that mean you didn't eat food today? No, that's, the, that's, that's not what it means. I ate food for midnight snack, 
breakfast, lunch, then I finish it with chicken and rice. Probably around 2 a.m. I wake up with the uh, fufu again. It's not your problem. It's mine. As long as I'm the one eating it. Be quiet and enjoy my status as I talk about fufu. If you don't like it, delete me or, or close your eyes. Or you can be cool and comment on the fact that you eat fufu just like me. Okay? If you don't, may God continue to bless you. Probably. You, might of fact, you are nothing. Be quiet. So, I'm glad that you guys know that this is my second blog. I'll be making more blogs pretty soon. Fantastic ideas and topics will be coming to my mind. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Nancy Conjo. I want to give a shout out to uh, all my brothers and sisters, my mom especially, because she's the coolest. But I want to give a shout out to God, because he's amazing. He's powerful, omnipotent, and all of the things that come with it. And uh, anybody that watched this video, enjoy. May God continue to bless you. This is your one and only Fufu Balala, aka you can just call me Esther. That's why everybody calls me. Okay. <laughs>